What's up guys, I'm Tay Marin here, welcome back to another video and today we're doing a weekly update on Installation 01. I'm joined by ReachMac again. Hey. And we've got another dock to go through, I'll probably link it in the description as well, so you can check it out as well. So what have we got first? The release date. When is it? Soon. Trademark. Okay, we've got a soon release date, that's always a good start. So I had quite a lot of comments on the last video about that, so I thought I'd mention it first. So we haven't got an official release date, but it's soon, that's all we can really say. Yeah, almost every page on their website says soon. It's a common joke on the Discord of never. Um, yeah, got a lot of things there on when the release date's going to be, and nothing actually sells the date. Alright, so next we've got some comments on the last video. So, let's put it on that page. So, Classy Ham, who made the footage you're currently watching and was on the last video and everything, basically explained that the game was not being on Steam, I guess, yeah, they've got issues with the legality of someone else's intellectual property. Yeah, that's basically what he said on there. And the launcher will have managed to sign you into the account and everything, so... Add to that. Another question on the previous episode... Is the uh, playable elite? Now, as far as I know, that has been confirmed on the Discord. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are mentioning it and the devs are yeah. talking about it's it. It's been, a, I think, approved by devs. Whether it's actually available now, I'm not sure. Or if it'll be... A but it's definitely something they're planning release. to include. It seems like a lot of people, I think, would prefer the game and uh, these nice little extras to come later. Yeah, I mean, that's always one of the things. So next, there's something we wanted to go over before last time is on the Field Trains page. On the website, there's a load of like sample stats. He also has the uh, demonstration of the um, Spartan customization. You can have a look at his Spartan in a full 3D render. Very nice, it's interactive, you can move around over yeah. there. You can get it on any profile, but it's just not customised at all, so it's just a base Spartan. And it's only available on his profile at the moment. No, you can actually view your, your own, oh. but it just doesn't show anything normally, because oh, no. there's not much there to show. I meant customization. Yeah. So there's a load of different stats on his page, so you can see kind of like what kind of game scores. We can see some of the like names of the maps that he's been playing on. If we look at... I'm not uh, sure. I don't think that works the full page. No, it doesn't. Are these, do you know if these are actual stats or um, I think they're generated as far as yeah, we don't. know. Well, considering they're, they're being played like one minute apart based on the timings. Yeah, probably. I think it actually says on one of your pages there's that generated, but you can see things like arena and standard games and... Yeah, you like general win to loss ratio, average kills, that kind of stuff. So it's kind of nice little stats and obviously this will all be, will be available on your own web page. Well, not web page, on your own page. Other people can view it as well. Yeah, other people can view it, assuming they know how to get to your page. I assume yeah. there's, I don't think there's any search option where you can just search a user. Yeah, there might be. Yeah, or maybe at all, if they, that's something they want to include. Maybe a friends thing. Yeah, or they might, there might be some sort of top as well. Maybe top oh, people top in layers, standard games yeah. or something. But the stats page just says soon, so we haven't got much to go for on that. Um, so sort of that. Now the next thing is firefight and arena possibly confirmed. So this is something I discovered when looking through the Installation One website. And if you look on your profile page, there's overview, progress, game history, standard, custom games, weapons, maps, and settings on the sort of uh, sub menu bar. Yeah, so you can go through the. You can see uh, there. That's where the. Thing you can go through the um, the code and un, you know remove the yeah. class so then it shows up again. So there's some hidden classes in the code that say arena and firefight, remove them and there appears to be pages there. There's nothing on them extra special yet but there's nothing on most of the pages anyway. But that possibly might mean that they're confirmed. Next thing and well whatever the word is, what's the word? Penultimate thing, there we go that's the word I was looking for, is on the previous weekly update not the one we've just gone, but the one up before that was video. One of the things was a video roundup where they talked about our video. Yeah, uh, the field train wasn't super impressed with our video quality, so now we're both recording with the separate microphones, proper microphones in the same place. Yeah, we changed the settings, but also he said, "I'll make you a deal. If we get some new microphones, he'll release Spartan customization. It's in your hands now, field train. It's in your hands." And finally, going through the weekly update just gone. From Friday. Still very little information. Yeah, very little information, but from what we know, that turn is coming soon, very soon. Probably TM after that, but it doesn't show it. <laughs> yeah, um, supposedly there's something just around the corner, but that's been said for a long time. My question is whether they mean the customization, which should be coming out very soon after this video. Feel train. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it 
could be a well we all know what we want it to be and I can probably say almost definitely it won't be we can probably blame, blame Bean probably blame Bean so also the technically correct is at the bottom of the, well in the weekly update I personally read about it and it's talking about the modelling and things like that and I'm wondering whether we're mostly waiting on models to be made for the game well that's interesting because when we watch uh, the gameplay they've released I don't see any models missing so at least for the maps we've seen so that's um, just Relic because we've seen Fulham we've seen another one I can't remember the exact name of it um, it's untextured but the models seem to be there and all the gun models and the Spartan models seem to be there so do you think they're making all ma maybe map models more? And possibly map models maybe some vehicles still they want to include we've, de we've seen a Warhog yeah the Warhog looks very nice very good and maybe there's some texturing things and possibly some animation as well yeah, so that's yeah, one of the main are, things I've seen, at least watching some of the videos, the animations we know aren't. They do it 3D motion capture. Yeah, well, at least some of them. I don't know whether all of them are going to be like that. No, but, but some, like, the reloading with Magnum, they were yeah. demonstrating that. There's them. some videos of Matt Lake, I think it is. Yeah, I think, yeah. So, we might try and overlay them on the screen if I can find them again. But, yeah. The Anything else you want to add? Unfortunately, the weekly update is yet again sparse. There's not much to talk about. Yeah, but we're going to try and do this kind of video weekly and keeping up on anything on the Discord and anything else that gets thrown around in the IO1, anything really. Yeah. Reddit, Discord, anything like that, Twitter. Channel. We'll try and keep you guys updated as well and we'll, well, we'll try our best and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.